It's time to have an in-depth conversation about connecting with the bot. And what I mean specifically by that is the no trainer found error. There are a couple of reasons this could happen, and we are going to go through all of them pretty much in the order that you should tackle them. First and foremost, make sure you're connected to the Internet. I know this sounds really silly for me to even have to say, but it has been the cause of people's inability to connect to the bot on more than one occasion. So make sure you're connected to the Internet. Uh, everything I'm about to say here also applies to Scarlet and Violet, so don't be put off by the fact I'm doing this on Sword and Shield. So step one, connect to the Internet, which of course means that you need an active, valid Nintendo Switch Online subscription. That being said, it needs to be older than 24 hours old. And if it's not, or if it's within that first week, you need to travel to the Wildlands, or whatever it's called in this game. Wild area. <laughs> Wildlands. This is Final Fantasy. You need to go to the wild area, and you need to do three raids. And I don't just mean, like, any raid. I mean a raid where you connect with other players. You must connect with other players and successfully complete three raids. And the reason I say that is because doing that has helped others in the past. So if you message us in the help channel and say that you can't connect with the bot and you have never connected with another player before, this is what we're going to tell you to do first. Next, it's important to know that you should have your code ready to go before the bot says I'm waiting for you. So if you don't give it your own trade code, it will give you one that starts with 182. It will DM you the rest of it. It'll be like four, two, three, six, nine, and it will say initializing trade. Initializing trade means the bot is doing this. It's going. And it's going nice and slow. It gives you time to put in the trade code too. Once it does this, it will say, I'm waiting for you. Once it says I'm waiting for you, you only have about 20 to 30 seconds to meet up with the bot. So you need to press search when it says I'm waiting for you. Don't press it when it says initializing. Don't wait 10 seconds after it says I'm waiting for you. You do it exactly when it says I'm waiting for you, especially in Scarlet and Violet especially in Legends Arceus. Uh, Sword and Shield, there's a little more leeway, but you should use this as good practice regardless. All right, next thing to note, I guess I probably should have said this one first. You must not be in a DLC area. So if I were trying to do this trade from over here, there is a better than not chance that the bot would not be able to find me. I don't know why this is. I don't know if it's just the bot. I don't know if it's everyone. I don't know. Maybe there's like different servers based on where the bot is versus where you are. And the bot is always in a non DLC area. So with that in mind, you should also be in a non DLC area. So what do you do if you are in front of your house in a non DLC area? You still can't find the bot. Well, it's going to sound real elementary, but you are going to need to press the home button, come over here to sleep mode and uh, not press that. You don't want to do that. No, no, no. You want to pick up your switch. You want to pick it up. You want to press and hold that power button until it says power off. You're going to power it off and you're going to wait 30 seconds and then you're going to turn it back on. I am not a technical guy. I don't know exactly what this does. It flushes something with like the cache and other stuff that's going on on the inside of your device. It helps. It really does. The first step in all of tech support is turn it off and turn it back on. I'm leaving this as step four or five because I'm just going to assume that that's not the problem. It usually isn't, but the problem is it can be so do that if it still will not connect let's come down here to settings let's come down to system let's come down to date and time you are going to want to synchronize with the internet now you could say that there's reasons that you don't want to be synchronized maybe you're playing a game 
even like Sword and Shield, where you want to push the time forward so you could reset the raids or change what the raids are. There's plenty of reasons to change your local time. Synchronize your clock with the internet if you want to work with the bots. All right. After you do that. After. So you do that and then you immediately come in the game. You reconnect to the internet. If it boots you like it does to me whenever I'm out of the game for more than five seconds. You are going to go to Mystery Gift. And this is important. You're gonna get the wild area news. What does this do? I have no idea. I think it synchronizes you with the current updated servers. I don't know. I don't know what it does. All I know is I've given this instruction to people and it has worked. <laughs> I wish I could tell you why specifically it works, but I just don't know. So, so far we've covered being in front of your house or being in a non DLC area, I should say being connected to the Internet, having an active, valid Nintendo online subscription, having done online activities with other players in the past, at least three, in my opinion, synchronizing your clock and, of course, getting the wild area news. Now, if all of that doesn't work, you're going to need to refer to Google for this next one but you want to make sure that your system's NAT type is type two or type one. If it's type three, you're never going to connect the bot. You also want to make sure that your home router or modem, whatever you're, if you're connected directly to the modem, you need to check the modem, that your NAT type is type two or type one. And finally, finally, you need to make sure that you are within reasonable distance from a real router. And what I mean by real router is I mean you cannot use a mobile tether. So if you like to use your cell phone to do internet stuff and that works for you sometimes, that's awesome. But Pokemon is not like Call of Duty. There is no buffering. If you do not have a perfect connection at the time of the trade, you will not connect to the trade. And if you do, there's a fair chance the bot will immediately disconnect from you. And that, my friends, is everything we know about connecting with the bot. I will say this, based on everything that I've said right here, over 20,000 people have come into the server and have left the server and have successfully used the bot. The bots have done hundreds of thousands of trades. The steps that I just said to you have worked for 100% of people. So if you have, if you tell me that you've done all these steps and it still doesn't work, I promise you that I will not believe you. <laughs> if, if it really doesn't work for you and you have followed all these steps, uh, your internet is likely unstable. There's nothing I can help you with. It's like I just said, your internet has to be perfect at the time of the trade. There's no getting around that. And on that note, Hope this helps, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.